You ever get that feeling that something was supposed to happen no matter how much you try to fight it? Alright, so I've kind of made a vow to myself that I wasn't going to buy any more shoes or clothes for a good while because I kind of hit that point where not that anything didn't interest me anymore, but I have basically everything that I could need from essentials to unique pieces, statement pieces, things like that. And so I told myself, don't buy more shoes, don't buy more clothes. And simultaneously, as I'm having these thoughts, I've been very interested in wallabies lately. Clark wallabies, you know, the stuff like Ghostface and you know, that New York staple, um, New York staple maybe. Um, yeah, I've been super interested in those at the same time that I'm telling myself, don't buy any more shoes, don't buy any more shoes, don't buy any more shoes. And then I get an email. Uh, I get an email from GH Bass that they just released a new mock shoe. And I'm like, okay, hmm, let's check this out. And of course, of course, this mock, the Wallace mock, it is the best version of that whole Wallaby style that I've ever seen in my life. Not only is the shoe itself, the construction, incredible, the design is wild. It's it's a two pattern design that it's got going on and it was just some of the dopest shit I've ever seen in my life. So I sat there for a day having this internal struggle, this inter internal battle. It's like, yeah, you know, you can afford it. You can get it. It's not the end of the world if you do, but on the other hand, I'm like, well, no, I, I told myself I'm not gonna buy any more shoes. I'm not, I really need to stop buying shoes. Well, I gave in to my urge because I'm a weak, 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 weak man. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been a while since I've been so fucking excited for a pair of shoes. I am so excited to open this box. It's It's been gnawing at me. And it's, it's so bad. It's so bad, but you know what? Hey, it is what it is. We're here. <laughs> I got them. And I am going to thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy doing this unboxing. So let's get into it. And... Here's the paper. I don't, I don't know why I'm not looking. I don't know why I'm not looking. I think I'm nervous. I think I'm nervous. I don't know. I, I, I think I, I don't know. Oh, shit. Yo. Yo. Oh, shit. All right, all right, well. Got nothing to be nervous about. Um, oh man, dude. Can you see that? That is sick. That's sick, man. That's sick. Um, off the bat, I'm a little nervous about how I'm gonna have to care for these because uh, it's a tweed shoe and tweed is a bit, at least it feels a bit delicate. I don't know, mess around and get it snagged on something, your whole shoe's over. Oh my gosh, bro. This is so, these are nice. These are really nice. These are really nice. These are the Wallace Mock from GH Bass. They just came out last week or two weeks ago. Uh, I think it was last week. And dude, they are so, wow. They're super light in weight because they have that extra light lug midsole. I'm speechless, I'm speechless. So yeah, it's it's in the style of like Buffalinos, uh, Wallabies, things like that, that mock toe, red wing even kind of style. And I think this is, this might be like the, this might be the best that I've ever seen it executed. These things are fantastic. And what I also like a lot is that how I said it's two-sided. So it's got this kind of chevron pattern going on on the outer portion, but on the inside, it's got this kind of checkered, in a sense, pattern. 
and they're so subtle. It's not a harsh contrast. You can definitely tell that it's different, that it's a two-sided design, but it's not a harsh contrast to make you go, Ugh. you know, what is that? It's, it's, it's different enough, but it's also subtle enough to where it's not super noticeable, if that makes sense. Uh, I did think the from the pictures that I saw online, I did think that the shoe was gonna be a little more green, have a little more green in it. And it does have some green on this side. It does have some green accents going on if you look close enough. It does have some green accents going on, uh, but I did think it would be a little more noticeable because the outfit that I'm gonna show off with these today, it's a green outfit. But nonetheless, it's earth tones, it's gonna blend well, it's gonna work perfectly fine. It's a low top, it's got leather, leather paneling on the heel, it's tweed all over the upper, it's just basically one piece on the upper, and it's the tweed, this tweed material going all around. Wax shoelaces, wax shoelaces going on, love those. Um, I'm almost certain they're gonna be super comfortable because of the lug midsole uh, whenever i whenever i've made purchases from gh bass with this kind of insole yeah like that's that's really soft um with this kind of midsole the insole usually tends to be super soft uh so i would imagine that i'd be able to wear these all day every day no problem yeah i mean first impression it's not as green as i expected it to be but it's it looks just as good as I expected it to be. There doesn't really seem to be any construction issues with this pair. Uh, it's even got, hold on. If you look there, damn laces, turn the way. It says Harris Tweed, Harris Tweed, right there on the little patch on the tongue. I mean, that's basically it. This is the brand new style for the Wallace mock. I believe now that I'm thinking about it, it's a collaboration with Harris Tweed, uh, because I think that's in the name. The Harris Tweed collaboration with GH Bass. I think this was an absolute home run of a collaboration. I can't wait to put this outfit together. It's also gonna be with a pair of pants that I recently purchased from Scotch and Soda that gonna put that outfit together for you all. I think I'm still pretty confident it's gonna look really good. And yeah, I mean, that's the that's the Wallace mock. Let's put this outfit together and then wrap up the video. All right, so now here's the outfit. And instead of just keeping something simple to show off the shoes, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit elevated. And firstly, this is my first time wearing these pants since I got them back from the tailor. So I wasn't sure how they would look with the shoes. Uh, like I said, it was a pretty much a green outfit. Uh, the sh pants, they have this blue circle design going on. And even right here on the waist, they have this rope belt uh, came with the came with the pants. And two, two, two observations. First one, phenomenal early fall outfit uh, with the layering and with the earth tones going on. Uh, I live in Miami, so our early fall doesn't really feel that different. It does feel better. It's not blazing hot. But nonetheless, I do think this is a perfect fall outfit too. To kind of go with the whole mock toe tweed aesthetic. It's a bit of a hippie vibe. Is that offensive? I hope it's not. Uh, it's a bit of a, you know, those kind of hippie aesthetics that I'm all for nowadays. Yeah, I think everything just plays so well, you know, the. The 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 the, 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 the um, oversized corduroy jacket with the straight leg off white ish blue pants um, with the olive beanie. It just everything just works. Everything works very well in my opinion. The pants fit great. I couldn't have asked for a better job from my tailor. Everything just works really well. I I love how this turned out. It's like it's oversized, but it fits at the same time. Nothing looks disproportioned or anything like that. You know, I've got the pants tucked in to show you that break. I uh, got the overshirt over it uh, doing what it's supposed to do. And 
yeah, I just love it. Uh, tying everything in, tying things in with the green, different shades of green and the bracelet, the brown and the watch, you know, everything, everything just works in my opinion. Didn't know how this outfit would turn out because this is my first time wearing these pants and these shoes, uh, let alone together. And yeah, I just, I think it turned out perfectly. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. But other than that, yeah, that is the video. These shoes are extraordinarily light and comfy, like I thought they would be. I can see myself wearing these all day, wearing them during the daytime, wearing them when I'm going out at night. Great for brunch, great for anything. Very versatile shoe. Very versatile. Uh, this particular pair ran 250. I didn't look at the price point for the other colorways of the Wallace Mock, but I wouldn't be surprised if they all just ran 250. But I think these might be a little bit more expensive because it's a col collaboration with Harris Tweed. I'll put the price up of the other just solid colored Wallace Mocks up here, um, so that way you guys can know. But yeah, this is this is the shoe. I highly suggest getting a pair if you're into this style, if you're into the whole Wallaby, Buffalino, um, Mock Toe aesthetic. I would highly suggest giving this pair from GH Bass a try. It doesn't even have to be the Tweed collaboration, just the Wallace Mock in general. I think the execution on this model was flawless. As always, Thank you all so much for watching. We're 50 subs away from 500, and that'll be one uh, roadblock checked off on our way to be able to make money from, our, from these videos. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. Uh, it would mean the most to me. I'm actually gonna do something really cool. I'm gonna rent out a studio, and I'm going to do put together like five outfits with this particular pair of the Wallace Mock. Just do a little cool fall-ish, winter-ish lookbook. Should be done in the next month, month and a half. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about doing that. Uh, I, I, I like these shoes that much that I wanna do something like that with them. So uh, yeah, that's everything. As always, thanks again for supporting. And uh, till we put the pieces together again, folks. Later.